You ready for some breaking news that will surely disappoint you? Of course. Has spoken to the president over the weekend. I have spoken with him extensively. He made clear then, and he has made clear since, that he is in this race. The matter is closed. He had reiterated that this morning. He has reiterated that to the public. Joe Biden is our nominee. He is not leaving this race. He is in this race, and I support him. Now, what I think is critically important right now is that we focus on what it takes to win in November, because he is running against Donald Trump, who is a man with 34 felony convictions that has been com that has committed 34 felony crimes, and not a single Republican has asked for Donald Trump to not be the nominee. He is in this race, and I support him. Oh. There's more, there's more. And we told you that Joe Biden was not the right guy in 2024, and we were right again. But instead of being right, instead of taking the victory, she's finding a way to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. I don't understand how anyone can just ignore what the data is telling us about Biden's chances of beating Donald Trump. All right, guys, so once again, we gotta talk about the continuation of the Democrat Party civil war that is ongoing and it is raging it is only getting more and more and more intense by the day as democrats take sides okay you have the democrats that want joe biden to step down they want him to drop out and to let somebody else take over maybe kamala harris okay and you have some people who want um the democrats to have a whole new primary right they don't even want kamala they don't want anything to do with the biden administration they just want to start from scratch with a whole new ticket that they believe can actually beat trump okay and we got to talk about the squad more specifically aoc coming out and essentially taking the side of joe biden saying that no no, no joe biden should stay in the race uh, we don't want him to drop out. I don't care if he's cognitively impaired or if he can't actually function as president of the United States. Uh, the most important thing to do is to rally around Biden to beat Trump. Okay, that's essentially the argument that she is making. And that has pissed off some in the progressive base because the progressives have essentially become anti-Biden because of the other Democrat Party civil war going on, which has to do with Israel and Gaza, okay, and we got to talk about no other than TYT. Chank and Anna Kasparian, right? They are pissed at AOC deciding to stand behind Joe Biden despite the calls for Joe Biden to step aside. So I want to talk about it, but before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Noble Gold. Are you worried about the future of the U.S. economy? With so much uncertainty in the air, it is natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. However, there's one asset that stands the test of time, and that is gold. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, you can harness the power of precious metals in order to secure your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Diversify your portfolio with a tangible asset that has real value. Setting up a gold IRA with Noble Gold Investments has never been easier with its streamlined process and expert guidance. This election year, do not let the volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. And Noble Gold Investments will give you up to 10 one ounce silver Trump coins or a 10 ounce silver American flag bar if you open a qualified account. Go to noblegoinvestments.com now. That is noblegoinvestments.com. And just remember, there's a risk with every investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. Ash team. Now, AOC aside, Earlier in the show, we were talking about Hakeem Jeffries, how he was basically keeping his powder dry until he kind of felt the temperature in the room to figure out where most elected Democrats stand on the issue of Biden potentially stepping down from this race. Well, uh, he has now come out with a statement and he's sharing what he thinks about Biden remaining in the race. Let's watch. Do you support Joe Biden staying as your Democratic nominee? Yes, I made clear the day after the debate publicly that I support President Joe Biden and the Democratic ticket. 
My position has not changed. So it seems like for the most part, the, the Democratic Party is listening to Biden. I mean, he put out this pathetic. letter. Te- totally pathetic. He put out this letter basically telling elected lawmakers who are telling him to step down that they need to shut up <laughs> and fall in line. And they are because they're cowards. Let's well, they're doing it because ultimately at the end of the day, they don't have a choice. Right? I mean, these people can be upset with what Joe Biden is doing and the fact that Joe Biden won't step down. And there are some Democrats that are standing behind Joe Biden. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the Democrat Party put themselves in this situation because they refused to have a primary. And I always have to bring that up because I want you guys to understand that everything that is happening right now is karma. Right? It is karma, okay, because the Democrats went out here and talked about how Trump is such a big threat to democracy and we must protect democracy. However, Democrats don't believe in democracy. They're actually anti-democracy because they have a fail safe against democracy in their own party with the super delegate system. And now you have Jake uh, essentially advocating for Democrats to overthrow democracy within their own party, right? And to try to take out Joe Biden. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I actually kind of hope Joe Biden stays in the race (laughs) because if Joe Biden stays in the race, then it's probably likely that he's going to lose because he's not going to get any better. Okay, and his approval rating in the polls are significantly getting worse for Joe Biden. The more the mainstream liberal media covers Joe Biden's mental deficiencies. And that's something that I don't think is going to stop right before the election if Joe Biden continues to stay in the race. However, I think the Democrats are screwed regardless of what they do. And that is something that TYT is failing to acknowledge. Right. There's nothing that can be done to change what's going to happen in November because the Democrats put themselves in this situation due to the fact that they quite literally overthrew democracy in their own party, their own primary. And that is what put them in this situation. Which is something that nobody on the left is really saying or acknowledging. How did the Democrats actually get to this point? Call a spade a spade, okay? Let's call it what they are. Hakeem Jeffries, Chuck Schumer, total cowards. Like, oh, what does the leader say? We bow to you. 36%, you don't mind losing to Trump. Every person right now that's saying Biden should be the nominee is saying, I don't care about losing to Trump at all. Look, Biden said another lie in one of these interviews. He said, "Oh, people doubted me in 2020." That's not remotely true, okay? Right? And oh, I was losing in 20. No, you weren't. And so even CNN did an analysis of it and showed it because it's not complicated. Anybody could look it up. That's what I've been screaming for a year now. You could look up any of these numbers. So at this point in the race in 2020, at this exact time, Biden was up by nine points, and he barely won. With 44,000 votes in three swing states. I know. He was up by nine. He's now down by three to six. Do you understand that's impossible? No, you don't. That's the thing. If you're an average layman, I don't blame you at all. How are you supposed to know what's impossible and possible in politics? It's like saying, oh, can you unclog that toilet? How do you know? You're not a plumber, right? I mean, I can figure so, it out. So, okay. But this, but. Everyone who knows politics, Ezra Klein, David Axelrod, James Carville, uh, Nay Silver, myself. Look, we don't agree on policy, but we all agree on numbers. So everyone that's now saying it should be Biden is saying, I would rather bow my head and obey a mad king than beat Donald Trump. I don't care about that at all. I've been lying the whole time. I don't think democracy is on the line. I think this is a totally unimportant election. We're gonna run an 81 year old whose brain fell out in the middle of a debate. 80% of the country thinks he's not mentally healthy enough to be president. Yeah, but see, here's the problem with Jenks argument. He's assuming that there's somebody waiting in the, in the wings that can actually beat Trump. And that's just not true, right? That's just not true. Again, that's the funny part about this. Again, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you keep Joe Biden in the race, he's probably going to lose. If you switch him out, it's going to cause a massive, massive escalation in the civil war that already is out of control among Democrats. It's going to destroy the party, and the party is going to have to find a way to unify around one individual that nobody knows, right? The rest of the country doesn't know unless they pick Kamala, who, by the way, is probably going to have the same issues that Joe Biden has. She's just as unpopular as Joe Biden, which is why a lot of people want to skip over her. The Democrats do not have a choice, right? But Jake is pretending as if they do have a choice. 
but they don't, right? Again, if you want to talk about numbers, facts, and data, there's no other candidate, potential Democrat candidate, that is polling better than Joe Biden unless you count Kamala. And that, that was only like one poll. I think it was like one Fox News poll that showed that Kamala Harris was within two points of Trump. And that is an outlier. Most polls that asked the American people about Kamala versus Trump, Trump is blowing her out. Trump is blowing out Biden. He's blowing out Kamala. He's blowing out Gavin Newsom. He's blowing out Gretchen Whitmer. He's blowing out Josh Shapiro. He's blowing out any Democrat except Michelle Obama, right? Except Michelle Obama. And Michelle Obama has already said, nah, I'm not doing it, right? I'm not doing it. So again, to me, it's just like fascinating to see the back and forth because I, I really do believe that a lot of people on the left are just missing the overall point which is that there's nothing that can be done. The Democrats have dug their own grave based off their own actions, their own anti-democratic actions within their own party, right? And again, this is karma hitting them in the face, okay? But none of them really realize it. They're not acknowledging that. They're pretending as if they have some choice when you don't have a choice. You're going to have to stick with Biden or else you're basically going to be guaranteed to lose if you switch him out because he's not going down easily not as of right now right not as of right now and, and see again that's the funny thing about politics all these people are such narcissists that let's say they actually do try to remove joe biden okay they, they try to <laughs> stage a coup at the dnc do you think that joe biden is just going to be like oh yeah i'm going to give up the seat you think that jill biden is going to be like oh yeah i'm just going to give it up no no they're going to destroy the whole party they're going to take the whole party before being forced out that's just kind of how it goes. The best thing that these people can hope for, right? And I'm not saying that they should hope for this. I'm just saying this is the only scenario where I see Joe Biden willingly stepping down as if there's some type of medical emergency. But outside of that, I just don't see it. I really don't. I mean, what kind of a moron would favor a guy that 80% of the country says his brain's not working? No, you can't. nobody can be that stupid. No, AOC and Akeem Jeffries are not stupid. They're just cowards and they just bow their heads to leadership. And they don't care about this country. They don't care about losing to Donald Trump. I mean, Hakeem Jeffries is leadership. He's yeah. democratic leadership. Of this course is he's gonna tell you to bow to leadership. He exactly, Anna, he is leadership. It's just, he's it's like, so oh, bad. you should always bow to leadership no matter how bad a decision they make, no matter how much they're idiots and no matter how much they don't mind losing. Well, I mean, again, the time to do all this would have been during the Democrat primary, right? But they chose not to, which is why they can't do it right now. I mean, again, it's, I think it's fascinating that Jake is not acknowledging this. I personally don't care either way. I'm leaning more towards I hope Biden stays in the race because I think he'll be the easiest person to beat. But again, that doesn't mean that any of Joe Biden's potential replacements actually gives the Democrats a better chance of, of winning. So look, guys, last thing on this. So I'm still absolutely positive that Biden's gonna drop out. You know why? The Republicans are smart. They ran one ad against Bob Casey saying, is Bob Casey lying to cover up Donald, the Joe Biden's dementia? And they showed clips of Joe Biden and then clips of Casey with Joe Biden. That ad was so devastating, that ad alone almost knocked Biden out. Then they stopped the ads immediately. They're like, oh, shh, 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 shh. Look, be cool, be cool. Once, if Joe Biden is the actual nominee and he gets past the convention, they're gonna obliterate the Democratic Party with those ads. Yeah, as they should. The same way that the Democrats tried to obliterate Trump with January 6th ads, right? Except those ads aren't really gonna work, okay? Um, but these ads that Republicans have lined up, oh man. <laughs> After the DNC convention, <laughs> I can, I can only laugh at all of the devastating ads that will be released against Joe Biden and all the Democrats that enable this chaos and destruction that has happened to this country because they supported a cognitively impaired president. See, again, it's funny. It's hilarious because every Democrat down ticket, they're, they're concerned about Joe Biden. Why? Because they stood behind his nonsense. So now Republicans have evidence and video of them standing behind the nonsense of Joe Biden, pretending that, well, all is well and good, right? And when you play those ads of these Democrats that are standing behind Joe Biden, at the same time playing clips of Joe Biden, clearly 
not being in the right state of mind to be president of the United States, that is going to cause a lot of people to question the judgment of their representative. And that's devastating. This is why, again, you have so many Democrats that are in vulnerable positions that are like, oh, no, we got to get rid of Biden because they know what's coming, right? They know what's coming. Being attached to Joe Biden is going to be devastating for them, okay? So again, I'm hoping they keep Biden in the race, right? So hey, in this case, you know, low key, I'm kind of glad that the Democrats are sticking with Joe Biden, right? Again, I, I think it's a situation where the Republicans can't lose. If they switch out Joe Biden, they can't lose. If Joe Biden stays, they can't lose, right? I, I think it's like a, an amazing situation to be in, okay? The Republicans have been handed a gift. And the best part about it is that this time around, they're smart enough to know to shut the hell up, right? Don't say anything. Just chill, right? Say nothing about this and just let it ride, right? Let it ride. They're going to put Biden with every single member of Congress, including AOC and Akeem Jeffries. They're going to put him with every senator. They're going to say, when when did they know? And, uh, and who knew and when did they know it? And what have they done about it? Have they lied to you? Because Joe Biden's definitely lying to you. Eight out of 10 Americans already think Joe Biden's lying to them. So now when you go and bear hug Joe Biden, you go, oh, I'm with the liar. And then your main point in this election is that Donald Trump is the liar, which was a terrific point until you started doing this spectacular, gigantic lie in the middle of the campaign. And now 80% of Americans don't believe a goddamn word you say. Well, I mean, again, this is par for the course, Jake. Again, when it comes to this whole democracy, democracy, democracy nonsense, Democrats have been protesting democracy. They have been trying to overthrow elections ever since George Bush won in 2000, right? But yet they want to come out here and scream about democracy and how you can't question the outcome of elections in 2020 uh, when uh, they got their way, right? When the opponent, you know, had questions about the election. But every time they lost, they were doing the exact same thing. Democrats are the biggest hypocrites in the world, and I'm, I'm glad that <laughs> Jake is, is realizing this, right? He's saying this. Yeah, that's also part of this conversation that I don't think is emphasized enough. The way voters feel about being lied to about Biden's mental state, about his ability to run and beat Donald Trump. The thing that keeps coming up is how betrayed voters feel. And to have, honestly, a progressive of all people come in and run interference for yeah. Biden is so incredibly disappointing. And by the way, this comes on the same day that the New York Times put out a report regarding a Parkinson's expert that visited Joe Biden eight separate times within eight months. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, well, again, here's the thing. Uh, Democrats lie all the time. They've gaslit people about the economy. They've gaslit people about the border. They've gaslit people about crime. And yes, they gaslit people about Joe Biden's condition. Again, when are people going to wake up and see that this party is a party of liars, okay? Again, it's just so funny because they talk about, oh, Trump lying, right? This is what they talk about all the time. But I'm like, yo, Democrats lie more than Trump does, okay? Way more. Again, that's the irony here. So again, it's just fascinating to see people on the left finally <laughs> acknowledge the Democrat Party for what they are, okay? They're a bunch of liars. But yeah. last thing here, I'm extra disappointed because number one, I desperately wanna beat Donald Trump. He did a coup attempt. We cannot have him get back in office. Yeah, and you're now advocating for a coup against Biden, right? <laughs> that is what you're doing, okay? Again, it's so funny. These people don't realize that uh, they're hypocrites. And you know, I thought at least Democrats wanted to win for their own power. But it turns out Democrats don't mind losing at all, at all. Okay, so that's the normal disappointment that all Democrats have no matter where you are on the political spectrum. But I have the double disappointment of we, and when I say we, Young Turks audience gave two and a half million dollars to just Democrats in that first cycle. You guys are American heroes. You got, you brought us hope out of no hope. I mean, obviously not because look at your justice Democrats, Jamal Bowman, He's up out of there, right? He just got voted out. AOC just stabbed you in the back. What has the rest of the squad done? And to me, that seems like it was $2 million set on fire, right? You just elected a bunch of social media influencers and race hustlers to Congress, and what have you got out of it? Nothing. AOC can't even stand up to Joe Biden. Again, it's hilarious. And it wasn't just Young Turks audience. So many other people tried to help, and they did help towards that miraculous victory that AOC had. And now to turn around and instead of fighting the establishment, 
which was the whole point of Justice Democrats, which was the whole point of running against Joe Crowley, who's the number four Democrat in the House. Instead of fighting the establishment, now you become a cog in the machine of the establishment, Bingo. helping them tell preposterous lies in order to hold on to power. That is super disappointing. Thanks for yeah, so you failed, right? You failed. Congratulations. You sent a bunch of social media influencers and race hustlers to Congress, and all of them, all of them fell in line with the establishment when they got just a little bit of pressure, right? They folded, okay? This is what happens when you send these types of people uh, to Congress, and, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. But as you guys can see here, uh, Cenk, Anna Kasparian, upset at AOC and some members of Congress, the Democrats rallying around Joe Biden, uh, despite the fact that Joe Biden is mentally deteriorating before our eyes. Again, this is probably one of the most fascinating stories of my lifetime. And uh, I'm really, really, really enjoying the infighting that is happening in the Democrat Party. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.